hello everybody and welcome to my channel i am timmy banjo today i am going to be taking you guys to oluo ekpe fish market and it's a very beautiful market although the distance is a lot but it's something i can be here just to see the site and see the water and everything and here is how far it is from cms a whole one hour 45 minutes it's about 7 a.m in the morning and i'm just getting ready i'm checking my things if they are complete because i don't want to cry if it's your first time on this channel kindly hit the subscribe button give this video a thumbs up please give this video a thumbs up and hit the notification bell so you are the first to know whenever i upload a video so i just want to show you guys what i'm taking to the market so because this is a long journey i have chips here this um plantain chips so delicious and i have this gum oh my god this gum is like cutting candy whenever i eat it it turns to gum see what they wrote here first it's cutting candy then it's bubble gum i just like eating this because it's so fun then i have my sanitizer my book and viral just so i don't forget what i write my power bank some more chips some more chips some change because you don't want to be fighting with conductor my nose mask and my cord so that's just what i'm carrying i don't carry too much so that's everything i'm doing so i took a bike from my house to the bus stop and that was about 100 naira then from the bus stop i took a bus to cms at the car park directly opposite the cathedral church where i'll find a pair bus Epe. You guys, the bus fare was 1,500 naira. I was screaming. Oh, more. A whole 1,500 naira. I was thinking it was going to be something like 700 naira. Max 1,000 naira. But we were just two on the seat. It was very comfortable. Very, very spacious. I mean, you could stretch your legs if you wanted to. It was fine with me. But that was a lot still. So this is how long we had... Um, to get to Ekpe about 43 minutes and I was tired of the journey and light came I finally saw this river and I knew that something has happened like we already got to Ekpe already and I was so happy just this site alone was so beautiful and look at this big fish it was so beautiful also I had to take a picture of the um, fish as soon as I got to Ekpe I took a bike to Oluwo fish market the last bus stop was um Ayetoro. Um, Ayetoro reminds me of a series we used to watch. There was somebody that comes from there, Jennifer. <laughs> so I got to the market very, very early, around 9 a.m. And as you can see, many people hadn't come. Like they were still waiting for the fishermen to come back from their journey. So I started prizing some fishes. And then this woman took me to come and see yeah. um, yeah. Eja Aro. <laughs> Sorry, Eja also. This is like the king of all fishes. You guys, that fish was so expensive. As soon as my mommy heard I was going to Ekwe, she kept telling me the kind of fish she wants. She said she wanted so I kept asking, what is so She said, you don't know so That is the king of all fishes. She was singing it in my brain. And that is the wedding fish. I got to know that was the wedding fish. Like, they have to serve that fish at your wedding. If they don't serve that fish at your wedding, that's the end. <laughs> no, that's not the end. But it's very important for them to serve so at your wedding. So I went to this. They call it um, wolf. So I came here to look at catfish. This is like the real catfish that is always in the um water or ocean or inside the river and they can't bring it out for too long because it's going to die so that's why they keep it inside a basket in the water although the fishermen bring it for them and you can see some fishermen were already arriving bringing in their fishes so i also had to wait for them because many people did not have um, enough fishes so we're still waiting and you can see this one at a distance also people were waiting for the fishermen to come and other people too were arriving some were maybe people who came for holiday or for sightseeing you can see them at the back taking pictures 
and enjoying the view and just having fun so we're still here waiting for some fishes to come luckily this man brought a lot a lot of fishes but he gave them to people who ordered them the people who ordered them were people who have stalls at the market so they couldn't sell to we the outsiders we had to go and buy from them I, if you understand what i'm saying but this particular fish this fish here this woman was um willing to sell to anybody who was going to buy i mean she she got the fish she's a fisher woman she got the fish herself and she was selling this whole basket for three thousand naira. and people there was ah, oh, it's too expensive my mom was like is this for 3k farm it is cheap and i was saying this is crawfish not um um crayfish they were arguing that it was crayfish but i don't know someone else bought it and i was paying honestly so this is another boat that arrived and had a lot a whole lot of fishes i mean he had um agile so he had catfish he had lele he had crayfish and so many other fishes see this big um catfish guys this catfish was so big you can see the size of this woman's hand and the size of the catfish i think a basket went for about um sixty thousand naira it was four inside so one of the fishes was fifteen thousand naira people kept pricing it and i think the last price was like 45k so this is the last boat that came in for the day there are two of them and we're looking at them from a far distance we're waiting for them to bring in the um fishes they caught from there and you guys this fish that they get from this um water side is so fresh there's nothing like is um going into the freezer or anything or there's chemical used to grow it is fresh guys so fresh and the fishes these guys brought was guess edge also the most expensive most important fish king of all fishes in the world and i was just looking because i was looking for crayfish all over i was looking for um, shrimps and um, prawns all over so let me show you guys what i got so let me just quickly explain how these people lay their fishes for sale they put them in like sets i think it's always 15 and they put a um ground price on it maybe two thousand or one thousand five hundred now and from there you can price meanwhile those fishes contain different types of fishes you can see about four types of fishes there you buy everything at the same time so i got to buy a set or i got to buy two sets and i got two sets for i think one thousand five hundred naira one was seven hundred the other was eight hundred naira so all that that was going by the far um left on top here was mine and i got this whole set for 1500 now it was so cheap and this is a whole lot different from what i buy from under the bridge in law school i'm going to link that video in the card if in case you haven't seen it so i got to buy i finally got to buy um agile so and i think the english name for agile so is um black shadow kingfish I'm not sure. I'll leave the name there. So you see this tilapia? <laughs> you people are supposed to beat me. The same way they lay it down is like 15, 15 or 10, 10, depending on the size. And the biggest was going for, I think, 4,000 naira for 10. And I was there doing shakara, saying it was expensive. She should sell it for me for 2, 5 hours pricing. Guy, someone else got it and I was pained. So I later on found a um, crayfish or shrimps and this set here was i think 700 naira and the other set i got was 800 naira together everything was 1500 naira this is more than a kilo i'm telling you it's more than a kilo on the and see it's fresh you can see it still has eggs under it the whole eggs and the, according to what they said they said the eggs of shrimps are so delicious so i got um those two like that one and the others um one here these two i joined everything together everything was 1500 now if i were to buy this under the bridge everything would be nothing less than 9k guys i'm telling you the facts so i finally got to buy my mommy's um agile song and you can see everything is fresh and live she had to kill this one just so i could take it to the woman that will cut it if someone else that will cut your fish for you um 
apart from the place you get it from so this woman cut my fish for me for i think 200 naira but i, but I gave her 300 naira and also um cleaned my crayfish then i also went ahead to buy snail they scored the basket for i think six thousand then i priced it no i think 8k then i priced it to maybe five and i got half a set or half rather and that was 20 pieces for 2500 naira so that's the end of my bye bye of fish i think the whole amount of money i spent was about 12k i'm going to leave the correct amount on the screen and then i made my way back to cathedral church that's where the bus takes up from and i made sure i put my basket of fishes in the shade do not put them in the sun and fam i could not take a bike or bus this time around i took an uber to enjoy my life i had been stressed enough for that day so let me just quickly show you guys what i got again so this is the whole of the crayfish i got everything here cost 1500 naira my mommy was so proud of me she was so happy she was so excited like my crayfish is here my adjustment is here everything that was going on here she was just excited and immediately she already brought pepper let's cook this fish up you know and that was my mom being so excited about this whole fish you can tell she was so this is the next set of what i got i think all this went for 1500 now and there is another layer down which was about i think 3k i'm not sure then this is the edge of sun i was cleaning up because the newspapers was sticky and stuck to the fish and i was asking her if this is what we're going to have for dinner she said no that is a very special fish is going to be cooked specially so hopefully we have a special day where we cook this fish or i could get to even film that also if you enjoyed this video make sure you give this video a thumbs up thank you so much for watching and bye